What is up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. It is snowing right now. If you're new on the channel, my name's Kay. I do POVs, rallies. Today we're gonna be doing POV drive in the snow and just talking about the power of manifestation. Let's get into it. All right. Turn that up. Low battery. Okay. Oh, I gotta turn off my uh, GPS connected. Alright, so like I said today we're gonna be talking about just the power of manifestation. How you guys doing? How's your days going? So I firmly believe in basically believing something exists before there's proof of it um, for example how I like to think of that is let's say I really want to buy a house right in my mind I I accept that the car or the house already exists you know so I put myself in a future state of mind of how I would feel if the house already existed, you know? And basically wait for the universe to align with it. And I, I applied that with this car in the sense that I wanted I wanted a Camaro ever since you know I was a little kid, and towards the end of college, right around like a couple of months before, I um, I told myself, well, I'm gonna buy a Camaro before I graduate, right? I said that's the end game, whatever it takes, it's gonna happen. And so what I did was I focused on how I would feel, how I would feel when I bought the Camaro. You know, I focused on kind of acting like I already had it. It's, it some people call it like a sense of delusion. You kind of act like you already have what you want, you know, in order for the universe to give it to you. Essentially, if you always tell yourself, I'm broke, I'm broke, like I don't got money, I'm stressing about money, your life begins to like reflect a broke life, you know? You ever notice that like, whenever you say stuff like, oh my God, could this day get any worse? Or something like that, like your day ends up actually getting worse. But when you say things like, you know, it's okay, everything's gonna be fine. You see things just, and it's it's not, people say like, it's, it's strained. It's not really strange. Your mind is really powerful. If you, if you believe something is gonna happen and you focus on what's gonna happen, not exactly how it's gonna happen, the world really will change. You know, like your life will change to reflect that. So you must like harness that power, you know? And that's really what manifestation is. It's like believing so strongly that something is going to happen without proof, without proof of how it's gonna happen. You know, you just like know it is. Um, for some people it's like, they look at a certain car and they're like, I'm going to own that car in like three years. You know, they don't know how it's going to happen. Like their life may not necessarily reflect a life that, you know, where that's a possibility. But then something happens, something changes, something shifts. And they tell you, oh my God, I manifested that car like three years ago. Well, what that is, is they put themselves in a state where 
They focused on the event itself and the event was buying that car. And I'm applying the same concept to my next car because I want a ZL1, right? And I've kind of told myself, I'm gonna buy this car in like two, three months. Like I've already started to act like I own a, own a ZL1. I put myself in the mindset of a ZL1 owner. I started looking at like ZL1 parts. Just kind of preparing yourself to how you would act if you had a ZL1. So that the universe starts to align with it. You need to think it first in your mind. Your mind needs to, you know, be on the same page. First, before the world is. So it's definitely very key to, you know, use the powers of your imagination you know that's why they tell people like think big like don't limit yourself to you know realistic you must be unrealistic with your goals with your dreams with the things you want you must think so big right now there's no evidence that that's real but you must think so big that it's gonna happen and it will happen there's also confirmation bias you know if you if you're constantly thinking about something you know that's all you're looking out for you start to see it like i remember and this is like i mean you've probably heard this before but when i first bought this car i always felt like camaros were like super rare like at least where i lived and you know not a lot of people had camaros but when i tell you the moment i actually picked up the car I saw at least four Camaros in the span of like 10 minutes. And now I see the car everywhere. And like when I tell you before, the car was non-existent. Like I don't think I've ever seen as many Camaros in my like time living here as I have since I got one. And it's just like when you focus your mind on something, you start to see it, you know, and they say like, focus your mind on opportunities you start to see them you know if you're if you're constantly thinking about opportunities and like stuff like that the world your life will start to reflect it it's just that's just the natural order of things and you must harness that you must harness and i struggle with it because sometimes it's very difficult you know like you may actually not have money in your account. Like you may actually maybe be broke. Like literally you might actually be broke, but you must, and like I said, the key word here is delusion. You must be delusional. You must put yourself in a state where I have money. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. I have money, you know? And something I always tell myself is, and I might, I might butcher it a couple times is, I have everything I want as long as I want it, whenever I want it, as much as I need it. So you're basically reassuring, reinforcing this idea in your mind. They may not be proof of it, but you must reinforce it so your life reflects it. And like it's it's helped me so much just in just in like a couple, like a span of a couple months just like harnessing that power you know just manifesting you know law of attraction so I really urge people to like kick into that I know where I picked that up was from a book um, I can't remember the name of the book but the book was basically talking about using your mind to get what you want um, and it's super helpful super beneficial you just gotta you know really dig into it and it may like i said it will be difficult you know there's certain times where it's like man this doesn't make any fucking sense and especially if your mind is used to thinking a certain way like you just can't like switch that up overnight you know there's definitely times it's like man what the fuck i'm actually you know this is not realistic especially from someone who's like logical like me like i always think logically it's like if i don't 
there's no proof like uh, what are you talking about you know but the more you do it the more you start to see like some change some result you definitely start to change as a person you start to see results and like if you're like a prayerful person religious person like think thank god for things you haven't seen so like i want the zl1 every morning right i would say a prayer like thank you lord for giving me the zl1 i appreciate it you know like i'm thankful you know you've done this thing for me that i really wanted for so long like just thank him for things you haven't seen and if you're not religious like that's okay too you know you kind of just accept you know accept that something like that's happened in the future and start to act like it is like it's existing in the present act like the future you want is happening right now it's a really crazy concept but once you do that your life just like changes so fast you know so But that's my that's my bit on manifestation and just like getting what you want you know yeah just think about that harness it and your life will change drastically but talking about zl1s i do really want a zl1 i want shadow gray metallic um one le uh same spec as you know because my, my car is hard or gray but same spec as mine everything all the bells and whistles and i'm super excited i've seen a couple i've test drove a couple so you know every day i get closer and closer i'm getting excited i've started looking at like mods to do to the car the whole nine yards you know so i'm super pumped you know to show that with you guys have some fun oh. so yeah I'm excited man also driving this car in the snow slash rain is horrible like I'm scared the car is like skating you know but I have to get the content out for you guys I'll probably post this video later today or tomorrow but it won't be too long because the drive to work is like 20 minutes so Woo. it's like the car just like doesn't like that but it is what it is hope you guys are having a great day you know, comment down below like how your day is going, what you're doing. What's something you've recently achieved and are really proud of, you know? Comment down below, let's talk, let's praise Lino, let's celebrate each other. Just good vibes. Um you know, I'm also wanting to like really get into the TikTok space. I've seen like so many good things um just all around and i think it's really impressive just how much tiktok can do for like a content creator the only problem and this is just real like the only problem i struggle with content creation is like being creative and being like funny you know like i see some videos and it's like man how did this guy come up with this idea you know um, I just wish I was that good you know I wish I was that creative I'm, I don't think I'm the most creative person so I definitely struggle just like being super creative making really good content but I'm trying you know I learn every day I mean my Instagram is my Instagram really isn't the most like super creative just because a lot of those videos aren't necessarily videos I thought about so um but i'm trying and i know tiktok is the space for that especially if you want to really expand is be super super creative be authentic 
and unique well not necessarily unique but be authentic you know create something people necessarily haven't seen but they want to see so there's no harm there's no harm being doing something someone else has done just be authentic in it you know like add your own twist to it just so it's more yours than theirs um and so i'm definitely working on doing that every day just kind of being better about tiktok i had an account that was like 15k but it wasn't really cars so i i switched it over and now i'm working on it i'll put the link down in the description but um Also, another thing I've really been thinking about is getting a new camera so I can actually shoot like vlogs on a, you know, on a nicer 4K camera. The camera I have is a Canon SL3. It will shoot 4K, but it's cropped, right? It's horrible. It's very shaky. It's not clear. It won't do 4K 60. I mean, you don't necessarily need 4K 60, but like, if I'm shooting 4K 30, I, I don't want it to be wobbly. So I end up shooting 1080p and it's not really clear. And I really want to push out great content for you guys. Um, so I'm trying. Another thing is, and I, I learned this from someone who's a really successful YouTuber right now, is you don't necessarily need the best care. It's more about being consistent and posting content so I've been trying to be consistent with something I can actually do, especially since it's the weather isn't the best right now. And I think that's POV. So that's why I've been shooting a lot of POV videos is because I know like that's something I can do. You know, I don't need to I don't need to be out all the time. I can just like do a quick drive and, you know, because everyone's everyone's home. No one's really bringing out their cars right now. So I can harness POVs, but definitely in the summer, or not summer, but a couple like in March, we have Texas 2K coming up. So I'll be there, shoot some content for you guys. If you guys are gonna be at Texas 2K, definitely comment down below. Maybe we can link up. I'm probably gonna be heading down there with a bunch of friends. So we're all gonna probably drive down and it'll be great. I have gone to Texas 2K for the past two years. So I'm excited for 24. Um, just kind of seeing what's out there but um yeah oof it's crazy that like the weather wasn't the weather wasn't even I don't know I thought the snow was done to be honest for the for the rest of the year or whatever guess not so this is such a nice view just like the Kansas City backdrop but you can't really see it that's cool I do hope you guys enjoyed the video just kind of talking about life manifestation law of attraction um, another suggestion I or question I had for you guys was if you want us to talk more you know I was supposed to just appear just a drive just let me know I personally like to talk about things like that just kind of being the best version of yourself just 
you know, life in general. So if you want me to do that more, let me know in the comments. But if you just want a real, like a quiet drive, I can, I can do that also. I'm super excited for ZL1 content because I can actually like do, you know, some crazy stuff, supercharged pools and all that. Oof, I can barely see out of this thing. I don't know. I'm gonna judge off this car coming right here. Okay, I think we're good. Nice. But yeah, I can't wait for ZL1 content kind of pulls and all that. So that would be cool. Maybe the POVs get more interesting. The crazy ZL1 pops and all that. So, uh, cops, of course. But yeah, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.